Hello, welcome to my latest video. Uh, this is going to be a video on uh, how to apply for a, a visa, essentially. So, uh, specifically from the UK to Japan. So, uh, that's the kind of the journey I'm going to be going on. So, it's, it'll be a new thing for me to look at. And uh, if you're someone in the same position where you're in the UK and you want to move to Japan, then it'll be a good video to, for you to watch. So, at least if you're in a different country, it'll give you uh, a good idea of what it, it, it would be like. So, but if you're from a different country, then uh, if there's enough people from that different country, then maybe we'll do another video in the future. If you're from the US and there's enough of you from the US wanting videos on uh, how to move from the US to Japan or whatever country you're from, then we'll definitely look to do them in, in the future. But this one specifically is um, from the UK to Japan, uh, so that's more relevant to myself and um, kind of what I'm looking to do myself. So uh, so we, what we'll do now, I will head over to the uh, websites. We'll have a look through the websites at what forms we've got to fill in, how much it will cost, things we need to do to get a visa and um, see what's what. So let's get to the websites and see what's going on there. Okay, great. So I'm on the website here for applying for visas. I've gone straight to this page because it kind of gives us a good breakdown of what we need to apply for a visa to work in Japan. Uh, there's some other information on other pages that I'll, that we'll go to as well, but this is kind of a good one to start off for, for this video. Um, it's a page about the certificate of eligibility, which you can see uh, mentioned on the top there uh, that's basically something your sponsor will apply for uh, I, your sponsor would be the company you're working for if you want to Japan to work the company you will work for will apply for certificate of eligibility to try and prove that you're eligible for the work visa to call out I mean you, you, you got accommodation you got a job in Japan to go to and that will strengthen your your visa application. Same thing with education, if you go in there for education then the university or school that you're going to again they are your sponsor and they need to apply for the certificate of eligibility and when that has been obtained and you've got that, that proof that you are uh, eligible to move to Japan you can then um, carry on with the visa application forms and then um, you have a list here of the things you kind of need to send off and pr provide to uh, apply for your uh, application form. So you need to have a valid passport. So what's a uh, passport you can currently use if you go on a holiday or whatever, or then you can use that passport. Uh, so it's a valid passport for your own country. So I'm in the UK, so I'm going to put this passport is something I need. Obviously, the application form. Uh, which we'll have a look, quick look at. Uh, well, one side passport size photograph, uh, which are measurements taken in the last six months. So I'm guessing they'll put a picture of you on your your visa card or the application if you, if it comes through. Um, then I mentioned the certificate of eligibility. You need to send the original copy of that and one copy as well. So they'll probably keep a version of it and then for the files and then use the other one for. For reference, um, so that's kind of what you need. So there's not a lot of information there. You could potentially take a little bit of time to get the certificate of eligibility in before we can then apply for the visa. Uh, and then once you fill in the application form, got everything else, then you need kind of need. It might take a little bit of time then to actually get the visa. Um, but plus then it's an extra spent an extra more time if you haven't got the valid passport, then that's going to cost you more time and money then to get that passport um, in for you to apply for the visa. So let's have a look at the visa application from then and then uh, see what that says and we can go from there. So it's only two pages so there's not a lot of information there so looking for your name, your date of birth, place of birth, marital status, your male or female, where you're from, your passport information. Uh, your purpose of visiting Japan, and how long you're going to be there, and so on. Uh, how are you going to get there? Where are you going to be staying? 
um, things like that uh, we're going to be staying with um, things like that and basically your section here about criminal offences uh, have you been convicted of a crime or offence in any country have you been in prison um, have you convicted of anything to do with, uh, with drugs uh, with prostitution have you been involved in prostitution or trafficking at all uh, if, you, if you can say no to all of them and even when they do the checks they'll say so you haven't had any problems with anything there then even it's more likely you won't get accepted for the visa if you're uh, if you haven't broken any laws then you probably got a good chance of getting the visa but if you have broken laws obviously Japan wouldn't want people who have broken laws in their country so it's Makes sense that they'll they'll refuse visas if you have broken any laws or been to prison or things like that. So, uh, so that's cool. And then you obviously that date signed the tenth, and then once you got all this together, you can obviously send it all off to uh, the Japanese embassy in the UK, which is in London, and. Uh, get it processed as quickly as possible. I mean, there is a small fee for it, uh, which is £22, which you will see here, single entry visas, Indian International 6, as a nationality is 22, multiple entries, 44, 6, transit, £1 on £5, but actually if you want to buy yourself from the UK, it is £22. I did kind of hope that the UK was in this list, in this box, you see what these are all countries where it's free of charge to apply for a visa, but unfortunately, the UK isn't in there. So, if you're from one of these countries, you can save yourself then the, the £22 for a visa or 44 or whatever cost it is for you. So, lucky you! So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much a quick overview of how to apply for the, for the visa for work and long term stays uh, in Japan so it doesn't seem that difficult it could potentially be a bit time consuming take a little bit long uh, but it's obviously an important thing to do if you are looking to move to Japan uh, from any country you need to apply for the, the right visas and if you want to go to work or study there or be with family then you need to apply for this work or long term stay visa uh, there are other visas like you can see along your temporary visit the visa Working holiday visa, volunteer visa, and so on. But uh, we, that we can do, do videos on, on them another time. Uh, but we just wanted to focus on the work and long term stays. So that's kind of what the YouTube channel is kind of focused on is moving to Japan, living and working in Japan. So I wanted to go through this. So we hope these websites helped, and thanks for watching. Okay, cool. So uh, that was the website. That was the whole process on how to apply for our visa to move from the UK to Japan and all the information we need. Hope you found that useful. Uh, if you have any more comments or questions on that, feel free to uh, post some comments underneath and I'll, I'll reply to as many as I can. And uh, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and click the notifications and uh, when I post more videos. Uh, you'll obviously get notified of them. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks very much.